Tom here. Welcome back to another Five Minutes for the Theory. Now, today's theory, I actually uh, didn't know whether I should actually post this or not. And I've actually talked to a couple of Five Minutes for the YouTubers. Um, I talked to Rezbrowski about it. He said it was a pretty cool theory. And I uh, discussed this with Smike. And he actually thought it was a pretty good theory and it made a lot of sense. So I figured I got two people's uh, notice about this theory that are, you know, higher up there. Um, Rezbrowski is about the same as me. But, you know, I got Smike, he even said it was good. So I figured, you know what, I have the confidence to pose this. Let me uh, discuss my theory. So basically, here's my theory. What if, since the cutscenes in Five Minutes Freeze 2 are titled Dream, are actually from the place before Five Minutes Freeze 2? Because we do know there was a place before Five Minutes Freeze 2, because Phone Guy states there was another Freddy Fazbear's pizza that was uh, left the rot. Not a Fred, not a Fredbear's diner. And besides, the animatronics are not called Fredbear and stuff. It, it's called Freddy. Um, so basically, basically, what I want to say here is that the place before there actually had the animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's One. Now let me explain here. Now the reason why they look different in Five Nights at Freddy's Two, being bigger and they have different shapes, coloring is one from aging you actually like stuff like um say the fur on the animatronics actually will change color as the years goes on and rotting happens decaying decomposing of all this kind of stuff happens uh naturally and it would be normal for it to change color for instance bonnie turns darker that would be an example of him possibly uh decaying because he's a normally um a dark like a he's a dark purple like normally in Five Nights at Freddy's one, but he's even darker in Five Nights at Freddy's two. So basically, he just rotted with the color and it deteriorated. Um, his face was obviously ripped off though. That wasn't natural. It did it was ripped off because he, they were actually retrofitted with newer technology, and more than likely Bonnie was actually retrofitted with the um, the I think the criminal database one. If I'm correct, I think there was a criminal database technology that they invented. And pretty much, if you guys do not know what I mean by that, is whenever Bonnie actually has you in sight, and notice every other camera, when he doesn't see you, uh, his eyes are white, even on the main menu, so it's not even camera static. If you actually look at him uh, in the hallways, and when he's in your office, they are red. Piercing red. Which can possibly mean that he's actually scanning you in uh, some way or form because he has that newer technology such as all the uh, other animatronics such as possibly Foxy since he actually uh, jumps at you has advanced mobility um, a new technology that they have so basically when Five Minutes of Freddy's 1 came out um, they pretty much couldn't use the same building as Five Minutes of Freddy's 2 because of all the murders they closed that place down it was on lockdown and they didn't have enough money to build up a new place so they went back to the old place that was left to rot, that was in ruins, and they just abandoned. They cleaned it up, since they were on low ex um, expenses. They cleaned it up, they didn't cost them as much, so it probably cost them a fortune, but not as much as it did to make the 5 minutes free stew place. And I really honestly feel like this can actually explain all the webs, the withered and cracked windows, and the building just being dirty and all, with trash lying everywhere. But that's basically just some today's theory. Um, I just want you guys right now to comment down below what you guys think about this one. I was a bit iffy on this one, but the more I think about it, the more it actually makes sense to me. Um, so what do you guys think about this? But anyways, guys, I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Oh, yeah. Before I go, I also want to point out this can also explain where the marionette came Anyways, guys, from. if you enjoyed today's video, why not leave a like? And if you're new to my channel... Why not hit that subscribe button to stay updated with my newest posts, whether it be theory videos, fact videos, or even gameplay videos. Um, I'm pretty sure at least one of you guys are going to find them pretty entertaining and pretty funny. But um, until then, guys, I'll see you all in the next video, and thank you so much for watching.